Hello everybody! Welcome to another video from Code Shots with Profanis. This is the third video of a series where I explain how to use the NGXS state management in an Angular application. Particularly in this video, we will see how to use the facade pattern. So, let's get started! This is the code that we used and developed in the two previous videos, and what we have here is a to do list a types, and it also will have the actions, the selectors, and the state. For this video, what I'm going to do is that I'm going to move the action, selectors, and state into a directory, and I will name it store. Since we now have the actions, the selectors, and the state into the store directory, we are going to use immediately the facade pattern. But wait a minute, what's a facade pattern? So think that we have the to-do list here, and this is part of our application. So here is our application, and then we have the store, which is more or less the data layer. So we have the data layer and the application layer. What we're currently doing is that we have a direct dependency from the data layer to the application. If we think this a bit, it's not that right to have the direct dependency, or to state it better, it's not right to have this tight coupling between these two. So what we're going to do is to create here another layer, and this is going to be the facade pattern. And whatever dependency we need to have from the application to the data layer will be done through the facade pattern. So let's give it a try. In the to-do, I'm going to create a new file and I will name it to-do facade.es and this is going to be no more like just a class and of course we need to have the injectable. Before moving into the implementation, let's go to the to-do list to see what we want to improve. So as you can see here, in the to-do list component, we have the store, and the store is being used in the toggle item and into the add item. So you know what? I will copy these. Let's have them side by side. And I will create here a toggle item method and also the add item method. So these are the two methods that we're going to use in our facade. And the toggle item accepts also a to-do model. The easy thing of how to move is just moving the code from the to-do list into the facade. So let's do this. I will have here my store and I will just copy this thing. And I will do the same for the add item. But this time the add item should accept a name. Whenever we create a new item, we provide the name. And the name, I'm going to use it here. And also, let's import this. Since we have the to-do facade here, let's do the following. I'm going to provide this into the component using the providers to do facade. And also, we have to inject this. And what I have to do now is just replace this implementation. This is going to be this dot to do facade toggle item. And I have to provide the toggle item ID. We have an error here. Uh, yeah, it seems that we have to provide the to do item as is. So I don't need to provide the ID. Nice. And let's do the same into the add item. Add item and we have to provide this, this new item name. So let's delete this. This is the first step. So we currently do not use the store into our application. But it seems that we have also here the selectors and despite that we do not use the store, 
we still have a tight coupling between the data layer via the selectors. So let's improve this as well. So I will copy this and I will move this into my facade. So now we have here into the to do facade, we have the selector, which is the to do items and is of type observable to do model. So let's close this a bit to have more space. Instead of having this as private, I will convert it to public. And the to do facade now, and I do not even need this. And the to do facade, I will immediately use it into the HTML here to do facade dot to do items. Buy milk, add, and nice. It works just fine. So this is the first step of this video of how to create the facade pattern. I know that it seems like why do we need to have the facade pattern since we have just two methods, but of course this is a very short introduction and the scale of this application is really small. But if you think in the enterprise applications, it makes perfect sense to have the facade pattern. So now let's do the following. Let's go to the do facade to improve this even more. In the official site of ngxs.io, if we go to the menu into the NGXS labs and click the introduction, scroll down and we will see some lab packages here. Let's focus into this one, the dispatch decorator. Let's install this package. And now let's go to app module and use this package, which is the NGXS dispatch plugin module and we'll use the user method for root. So what it is cool with this uh, dispatch plugin module is that we can improve the facade pattern. So what we're going to do is that in this method, we will delete this store dispatch. And this method, the only thing that we will do is just to return this action. But of course, we have to use this decorator, the dispatch decorator for this method. And we will do the same. So let me copy this dispatch. And we will do the same for the add item. So I will delete this. And the only thing that we have to do is to return the name of the action. Actually, we have to return the instance of the action. So let's go to the browser to see what we have. So if I type buy milk, add, it seems that it works just fine. So that was it. Thanks for watching. Please let me know what you think in the comments below and do not forget to subscribe and click the ring bell. See you in the next video.